Yo, welcome Frony. So today we want to take a look at which foods can actually stack and how can you get the most power out of your food combinations. This extremely professional graph here explains the different kinds and what can be stacked and what cannot be stacked. So you have utility food, we have miscellaneous food and remedy food. They can all be stacked, but for the attack and the defense, you have to choose either one of them. And what kind of food is? is always described on the top if you hover over the food. If you watch the video all the way to the end and subscribe to the channel, I will share a secret with you. So first you need to decide, do you want to go attack or defense? I am personally a DPS, so I'm usually choosing the offensive one. And here the Grilled Clown Fish is my absolute favorite with the bonus damage and the skill damage boost. It just scales extremely strong. And also if you get some great success on that food, that sells really well in the auction house. If you're going for a defensive food you will most likely end up with the terror bird stew for all evasion and all heavy attack evasion but either way you have to choose one you cannot stack it then when we are talking about the remedies here you have your normal attack and defense remedy here i would say that is clear to everyone but there's also other food that is considered a remedy one example for other food as a remedy is for example the abundance fruit right here from the battle pass shop that means that 30 percent solent can actually be stacked together with other solent food because other solent food like the crab meat pie is registered as utility that also means that you can stack mastery bonus so here for the golden apple pie it's also a utility and again in the battle pass shop the master report is the remedy so both can be stacked when we are looking at the utility food you have um, three different options you can do you can either go into something that helps you to sustain your mana like for example the healthy milk that will basically fill up your mana if you use it or you can go into the vegetable stir fry that is giving you health and health region or the pendant to that mana and mana region um, there's also a food that is giving health region and mana region at the same time if you are having trouble with it any of those my personal favorite as a dps is actually a scorpion tail fritter for movement speed and attack speed that is the only way you are getting damage out of the uh, um, utility tab and if you are for example a healer you want to have the poultry shiitake up running non-stop to increase your heal you have to be careful if you are farming in the open world dungeons with your stacked food solent or mastery whatever you prefer um here right here the mana region potion that you're getting from the guild merchant is also considered a remedy so be careful that you're not deleting your expensive food accidentally by wanting to pop a mana region potion and one last thing that is also considered a remedy is the precious purification stone that means when you use it to remove a cc your other remedies will actually go on cooldown as well so you cannot use a stone and then instantly pop like an attack remedy for example not now, before we take a look at the secret that I want to share, I will show you my favorite food that I am choosing on a daily basis. So whenever I'm doing P so whenever I'm doing PvP, I will use the roasted honey apple. When I'm doing PvE, I will use the grilled clownfish as a attack as a remedy in PvP. Before I spin to win, for example, I will use an attack remedy. Other than that, I will save my um, my cooldowns actually for the CC removal and don't use remedies that much. Then for the utility, I'm either going with the vegetable stir fry or I'm going with the scorpion tail fritters, depending on the situation. If I ever happen to go defense, it happens really rarely, but sometimes in but sometimes in small scale PvP I do it. Um, I'm going with the terror bird stool for all evasion and more importantly the all heavy attack evasion, which is scaling really well here. And whenever I go farming, I have it up running 24/7, no matter what I'm doing, as stolen food, so either crab meat pie or golden apple pie. Now let me show you one special trick, because you can actually sneak food into the arena. Usually every food gets deleted, but we are having the vegetable stir fry up running and see what happens. See, you can take the food and the value inside of the arena. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions, I'm going into PvP now, but you can leave a comment and I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.
this around, don't get caught in the mosh pit. Fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it. Trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible. I aim, you duck, I squeeze, now you invisible. I'm not afraid of getting physical All these different chemicals are fogging up my visuals Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Yo, we notorious, we ain't no runners Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Yo, we some warriors, they ain't caught gunners Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Put on my strap, put on my beat, put on the map, put on my team Take out every motherfucker in between, know what I mean? Better myself, better my aim, better my breath, better my name Killing rappers on my hang, I'm by the chains for the fame Never thought I would, and now I'm running You don't wanna follow me